Good afternoon. This is Deborah V. Wilson. I am in Bradford. It is Thursday, the 12th of August, and the time is approximately, approximately 1400 hours and five minutes. My laptop got hacked, and so I'm learning how to use my mobile phone to film things. So this is a post and a test. So you're gonna hear all kinds of background noises because I'm outside. I am doing, I have a new volunteer job that I'm really, really excited about. It's happen, helping a C of E affiliated church with their food ministry. And I really like it. I think that we're all here for a purpose. I'm a person of faith. And I think that purpose is to give service each to the other. I think uh, the interesting thing about, because the way I look at God is, uh, I think God is science. And we're better off, we feel better when we're in community, when we're act interacting with each other, and when we're in healthy, sound environments. So uh, I, I think the, um, it, it's, it's a master plan that if we live by it, can increase the odds of not only a contented life, but a social cohesion. So my service uh, is around issues of uh, national security. And in that light, uh, I want to refer you to two things. One is an article that's in The Guardian, which I'm going to try to figure out how to post on, on, using my mobile device and update this YouTube video. And uh, it, it talks about, uh, broadly speaking, it talks about the percentage of mentally ill people that are referred to the PREVENT program. And that's the first point of service uh, that they're referred to. So I, I have a, a bunch of questions about that, but again, I'm going to post the link to the Guardian article is uh, I, I want to, I seek an understanding of what mental illness is, uh, how they're defining mental illness, then I'd like a gender breakdown of, of who and why someone is weaponizing their identity and how it's being weaponized. And I, I'm curious as to why that's the first service within the state they were referred to. I'm wondering if that's because the person persons mentioned something of violence and that for whoever referred them thought, uh, made them think Oh, prevent. Then the second thing I want to refer you to is a YouTube video done. Uh, it's an interview with the Director General of the National Crime Agency, Lynn Owens. It's brilliant. It's absolutely fabulous. It not only discusses service, but the, the obligation of the state to keep us safe, the, uh, that because of the powers of the national security model, uh, they should be questioned and there should be oversight and they should be accepting of that. And then there's a talk about uh, the, the, the national security apparatus, the machine in its entirety is seeking to be more expansive, these are my words, in recruiting talent. And, and if that talent comes in a myriad of packages, that again, those are my words, uh, so be it. It's a smarter, a smarter, more receptive national security model. Again, that's my take on it. So I'm keeping this brief because I really don't know how to do this. And this is my first run. Again, this is Deborah V. Wilson. And thank you for listening to and watching my YouTube video. Thank you.